Are you recording? I'm gonna start one. Oh, okay, so I'm not ready. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Main Choice product line. I was so excited to get this. It's actually a Christmas gift to me from my sister. So shout out to her. Make sure you follow her channel. Her link will be in the description. Um, I did get three products. I got the shampoo, conditioner, and the styling custard. So I'm gonna just be going over my first impressions of the shampoo conditioner. I'm actually gonna be putting in the um curling sorbet on camera so you can get my true reaction um this is not it in my hair this is just be freshly washing out the conditioner that i did condition overnight because i was going from straight to curly so i did want to condition it overnight because i it's been a minute since i had done anything to my hair because like again i said it was straight so first impressions of the shampoo was that it smelled wonderful I love it it says pink lemonade and coconut which at first I'm not a big coconut person or the smell so I was very surprised it really smells like like a sparkling lemonade to me it just smells wonderful um I did like it did not leave my hair very like shine like that shiny feel dryness it did not have that at all I did do three washes because it had been a few weeks since I had washed my hair um just great first impressions of it it was definitely um lightweight like it said anti didn't have no type of frizz and i did do like i said three washes and i moved straight on to the conditioner um i did kind of use a lot of it in my hair i have to i kind of use more than i wanted to but i just wanted to make sure i had um a full effect on the bottle it does say to um condition for three to five minutes but I did do mine overnight just so I can, you know, get the full effect. Because like I said, my hair had been straight for about four weeks. And that's how long I had went without washing it. So, but so far, like, I love it. I didn't even like it so much. I put the conditioner in my daughter's hair. And I'm going to do that overnight. And then try the Pink Lemonade Curl Boosting Sherbet. So, I'm very excited to do this. I'm going to be doing this on camera I'm gonna start by doing four sections I might speed it up a little part my hair in four sections and apply it to each so here we go so now I'm just gonna comb this section out um, I do usually do the lock method but I just want to use this product in my hair so I get the full effect of um, the curl boosting sherbet sorbet however you want to say it that's so I'm only going to be putting this in my hair later. Um, I will, you know, oil and moisturize my hair. But I just want to get the full effect of this. And I am going to try to do um, like a like an air, like after it completely dries. Because that's really important. Because a lot of stuff looks really good when you first put it in. But in the air dry, it, it like the volume and it, you know, it gets... Sometimes it frizzes up. So I will be getting, hopefully, even if it's just a picture, something of it tomorrow, more than likely, because it's kind of late and I know my hair takes forever to dry. So maybe tomorrow, uh, like a video or some so short little thing of it. So just like first impression, the texture, uh, it's not too thick. It's not like oily, very smooth smells wonderful i just love this it kind of i don't know it reminds me of something but i can't put my hand on i don't know if it's the champagne toast candle from bath and body works you smelled that before right champagne toast i think and that's what it reminds me of but you know what it really probably is i don't know if y'all have been to cheesecake factory but they have this raspberry lemonade cheesecake <laughs> that i get every time and i think that's what this reminds me of so I'm going to just apply, I'm going to start from the bottom because my bottom, the bottom of my hair, the ends I should say, do tend to be a little straighter. And just work it up, you know, add it a little by little. And then I am going to split this section into two just so I can make sure I get all of the root. I am putting a good amount, which you usually you kind of have to do when it's your first time putting a product in your hair. Especially when you, you know washed it just to get the full effect get your hair get it worked all the way in I feel like I need to put more in there but this ain't like you know my hair looks still a little sh straight but let's see I'm gonna do this part and then 
let's see i don't like i said yeah i'm using a good amount in there i feel like already but i don't know why i feel like i need more so let's just see let me see what it looks like um i guess like when i usually go like this because sometimes you had those straight pieces in the middle that you know you might not have gotten I don't see a lot but as you can see like my hair is very weird to me like it's not really a curl it's more of a wave but then sometimes it is curly so it's hard to tell I think I have both pieces in my hair um like curly and wavy you see how sometimes like up here I see a little bit more straight so I feel the need to um put a little bit more in so I'm gonna put a little more in and then try like scrunching it and we'll see you know like just like these pieces right here I feel like a, a little more sh straighter than the rest so i'm just gonna rub a little bit more in and then we're gonna try to scrunch it i do kind of like twist it just so i get the underneath in that's all because sometimes like underneath especially in the back the underneath of it like if i was to flip my hair over it would be excuse me straighter than the rest so i just do that then let's try scrunching okay so that's the first session i'm gonna see if i can get up a little closer for y'all to see um it looks pretty good but usually when well i'm not going to judge this because like i said i haven't used it but usually when a product looks like this when i first put it in when it dries it's it don't really come out curly but like i said i don't know if my hair really is, even is considered curly it might be more of a wave but that's the first section Sorry if you hear a baby screaming, that's my daughter outside and she does not understand that I need private time. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to actually do this so y'all can see a whole another section. I usually do go straight to the back, like finish the whole side, but just so that y'all can kind of um get a better effect. Can I have a help if I don't pull my hair out? And work. Like again, I'm going to start by combing this through. It looks pretty good. I am liking it, but like I said, I really want to judge it off when it dries. But it looks really nice. Okay, guys. So I did whoops, apply it in all four sections. And like I said, right now, wet. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm going to try to like this it's not greasy the product is kind of wet but it doesn't weigh it down like you know some of them got like they're very like wet products and your hair feels weighed but it's very lightweight it's, it did make it wet but like i said my hair was a little more than damp when i did put it in so because i washed the conditioner out but it's very soft like I don't see no type of frizz which I usually get um just so you know before this I did use I want to say Cantu so I use in my hair the most um I did use Shea Moisture for a while but I had moved to Cantu just because like Shea Moisture was cool it's just I'm very big on fragrances I wasn't a big fan of the smell for me like I love it in my daughter's hair everybody else is like I love it but the smell and maybe it's probably with the leave-in or because I did not use the whole bottle I really just used the curling products from Shea Moisture so it could have been like the oil and the leave-in that I was using way to combine with the Shea Moisture just didn't work scent wise and it's probably very rare to me not to use some because of the scent but I just couldn't do with it too much and like I said I'm not the type of person that I wash my hair so frequent so if it when it starts to like build on like you know a week or two and the smell is just too much which probably means it is time to wash it but like i said i go about three weeks because otherwise my hair gets like sh very shetty and it gets like that like squeaky i hate that squeaky clean type hair when you wash it and that tends to happen to when i wash it too frequently this looks beautiful i want to say i haven't been this in love with a product this soon 
but I don't want to talk too soon because it's all about when it dries. So here's the back. Um, hopefully you guys can see how I'm, I'm new at this YouTube thing. This is the back. Um, it's very lightweight. Like I, I keep touching it because I'm like, do I need more? Because I kind of don't feel it. But it looks and feels great. Um, my, like I said, I am kind of curious to see what it feels like when it's dry and that if I still kind of get this greasy feel to it, because like I did say, it is like kind of a wet thing. So when I touch it, you know, my hands get this, I'm wondering if it, hopefully it doesn't dry like this. But I do want to say when I did have the conditioner in my hair, like I said, I conditioned overnight. When it didn't, it wasn't too hard and it won't wet like my hair didn't dry like hard and with the white flakes on there so after this i might use the conditioner as a leave-in because i always test that first because some conditioners if they're not leave-in conditioners they leave that like white stuff and you know white stuff on there so <laughs> almost cuz so i didn't want i wanted to test it out first but didn't need no type of residue or nothing so i'm very curious to see what this looks like when it's dry um, right now, I'm going to give this product an A+. Plus. I love the main choice. Like I said, I'm going to do a little clip, probably come back um, once it dries, let y'all know how I feel. But I, like I said, I'm not um, a curly person with volume. Like, if it gets too puffy, I will wear it, but I will not wear my hair down. Just because it's high, I have kids that are babies that pull on hair. So if it gets too volumized, I will not wear it down. Anyway, I might, you know, do half up or put it back or something something like that but if it does stay like this i would definitely wear it down so i'm gonna come back with you guys have a little clip or at least a picture how it looks when it's dry and hopefully i like it i found my thing thank you for watching my video make sure to give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and the kearney journey will be back with another video soon bye Hit the record button. <laughs> Every time I look at you, you look dead.